Here are three different examples of rationalizing the denominator using the conjugate, so let's take a look. Part A we have rad 3 plus rad 4 over rad 2 minus rad 3. Alright, so to rationalize the denominator, right, we're only going to focus on the denominator. We take the conjugate of that. Remember the conjugate just means change the sign, so we'll do rad 2 plus rad 3. Up top, same thing, rad 2 plus rad 3. You have to do the same thing on the bottom and the top, right? These are always the same. Let's foil the numerator together. Okay, so first, rad 3 times rad 2 is rad 3 times 2, 6. Outside, rad 3 times rad 3 is plus rad 9. Inside, rad 4 times rad 2 plus rad 8. And last, rad 4 times rad 3 plus rad 12. Okay, that takes care of the top, although we can simplify it a little bit, but let's go down to the bottom here into the denominator. First, rad 2 times rad 2, rad 4. Outside, plus rad 3 times rad 2, rad 6. Inside, minus rad 3 times rad 2, rad 6. And last, minus rad 3 times rad 3, so minus rad 9. Okay, if you've done this correctly, these should always cancel out, right? These inside radicals will cancel out. Well, you may be saying, yeah, but there's still radicals on the bottom, but not really, though, right? So let's look at what happens down in the denominator here. Rad 4 is simply 2, minus rad 9 is 3. Up in the numerator, we have rad 6. Well, nothing we can do to rad 6, but radical 9, square root of 9, is 3. Square root of 8 is 2 rad 2, right? Because square root of 8 is actually, we're looking for perfect squares in there, 4 times 2. The 4 makes it out as a 2, so that's 2 rad 2. And for the same reason, rad 12 here is plus 2 rad 3. Same idea. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so this whole thing is minus 3, minus rad 6, minus 2 rad 2, minus 2 rad 3. There we go. Let's try B. For B, we have 4 rad 5 minus rad 2 over 2 rad 5 minus rad 2. Again, we hit it with the conjugate of the denominator conjugate of the denominator, so I'm just taking the denominator, but I'm changing the sign between the two terms. So this becomes 2 rad 5 plus rad 2, and I do it on both the bottom and the top. Plus rad 2. 2 rad 5 plus rad 2. Okay, now we are going to do a bunch of foiling. So let's see what that gives us. On top here we have 4 rad 5 plus 2 rad 5, that's 8 rad 25. That's our first. Okay, outside, 4 rad 5 times rad 2 is 4 rad 10. Inside, minus 2 rad 10. And last, minus rad 2 times rad 2, minus rad 4. All over, okay, what happens down in the denominators here? Rad, uh, let's see, 2 rad 5 times 2 rad 5, 4 rad rad 25. Outside, 2 rad 5 plus rad 2 plus 2 rad 10. Inside, minus rad 2 times 2 rad 5 minus 2 rad 10. And finally, minus rad 2 times rad 2, rad 4. Okay, the best part of this is this cancellation right here. All right, that is so wonderful that that happens. That solves all our problems with the radicals in the denominator. It introduces a lot of new problems for the numerator, but it does help out the denominator. Let's see here. What does this leave us with? Um, rad 25 is 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So 40, we can combine these two. 4 rad 10 minus 2 rad 10 is plus 2 rad 10. And then minus rad 4 is minus 2. All over, okay, rad 25 is 5 times 4 is 20. 
minus rad 4 is minus 2. Okay, simplifying here gives 40 minus 2 is 38 plus 2 rad 10 all over what 18 here 20 minus 2 is 18 finally we can factor a 2 out of the numerator so that's 2 times 19 plus rad 10 all over 18 the 2 and the 18 cancel leaving a 9 below so 19 plus rad 10 all over 9 there we go let's scroll down a little bit for part C for part C, we have 2 rad A divided by 2 rad X minus rad Y. All right, same trick. It's that conjugate trick. It works for these kinds of exercises. So we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, 2 rad X plus rad Y, divided by the same conjugate again, 2 rad X plus rad Y. Note that these are the same. Right? These are exact replicas of each other on the top and the bottom here. Nothing changes, and it's all based on the bottom. We don't even care what the top is when we make this multiplier term here. We just change the sign there. Okay, let's multiply these together. All right, so we'll put some parentheses in. Um, we'll start in the numerator. Let's distribute this 2 rad a through to both terms. All right, so we hit 2 rad x with that. It's going to give us 4 rad a x. Right, and now we hit rad y plus 2 rad a y. Down below, let's do our FOIL. So first, 2 rad x times 2 rad x, 4 rad x squared. Outside, 2 rad x times rad y plus 2 rad x y minus, okay, 2 rad x y again, 2 rad x y. And those should always match. In fact, you could even skip this step because we know that they're always going to match and cancel out. So a lot of times you could just go straight to the, the first squared and the last squared. Okay, last squared is going to be minus rad y squared. All right. We can't simplify the numerator, so let's just rewrite it. 4 rad a x plus 2 rad a y. Then in the denominator, let's see. Square root of x squared is x. Remember, these variables are assumed to be positive, so we don't need the absolute value. 4x minus, and then square root of y squared is y. And there is no further canceling that we can do on that one. 